Over the hills and far away, some metal detectors came out to play. Hello guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland out with James, the green oak detector who's up there and he's hiding in the bushes up there and uh, yeah, we're doing a little bit of detecting this morning new permission James has got, he's took us out on it I've just had my first find, well first decent one anyway look at that for a wee beauty I find out eh? little military button, navy button excellent, so that's you, that kind of backs up what we see here there's meant to be a gunnery and a firing range on this land so yeah there you go for World War 2 first little signal which is decent is a little navy button so yeah let's keep going hopefully we'll find some military badges or something look at this bit of skim up it looks like it's off a fence or something like that it's been mounted onto something is it off a tractor or something like that or a fence there you go just digging everything to see what comes up iron as well something different well, there you go, I've just got my first coin There's Britannia, it's got to be Vicky in it Let's have a look Yeah, you can always tell There you go, lovely widow head, half penny And that's Queen Victoria Nice Well here we go, here's the next signal out, it's a big coin It's very crudded yeah, probably go for a Vicky on that. Yeah, it's definitely a wee Vicky half penny. You can feel the crud on it. Lovely little Vicky half penny again. Here we go, live dig 75. Let's see what we get. <coughs> may have just turned to iron <laughs> maybe not, maybe not there we go, look at that, it's still in there let's have a look at this wee beauty and see what it is it's a very old Irish half penny. I think it's Irish, it looks like a harp on that. There we go, beautiful is. Eh? That's a little Georgie Podgy. I thought I seen a harp on it. Possible harp on that or a, a even a head. Yeah, you can see somebody on that. Georgie Podgy perhaps, maybe a Georgie Ford. Beautiful, lovely little live dig. A Georgie Ford. Get in. Live dig, it's an 86. Get a wee bit quieter. Nice 86 somewhere in there.
Just a bit of aluminum. Here we go, we've got a live dig coming up. <laughs> Oop. Full clawed out. It's in the clawed, it's in the clawed. Just a big bit of lead again. Gutted. Look at this, a little butterfly in November. That is unbelievable. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Unbelievable, eh? You know, we'll see them in the summer, not in November. Well, here we go. Here's the next find I've had. Part of a fancy schmancy buckle. Very nice. Victorian or Georgian, one of the two. There you go. Fragment of an old buckle. So we're on a new farm. We've been on a couple of new fields, and yeah, it's a really hard, hard job. This finding stuff here. Yeah, it's right out the way. It's in the moors, and we'll just keep plodding along, see what comes out. Well, Andy's found this button. We think it's a military button. It looks to have a crown on it. I don't know what anybody's thoughts are on it. If anybody can let me know is it if it's a military button or not. It's quite a hard one to see, so we'll try and get it cleaned up and get a picture for you. He's also found this big penny. Now we're not sure if this is just a George Ford penny or a cartwheel. It's so thick like a cartwheel, I'd go for a cartwheel. In fact, something like that, I would actually go for a big Roman. But uh, yeah, it's just not a Roman area. I think it's a big cartwheel, I think there's an outer rim there. It's a 1797 cartwheel penny. It's got the right thickness for it. I think I can see a rim. It's just very trash. So, yeah, possible cartwheel penny there. If not, I have no idea what it is. So, let me know your thoughts on it because something that I think would, I would say was Roman if I found it down south. Yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are, cartwheel penny. Or is it something else? There you go, look at that, just up 6061. Victorian umbrella slide. There you go, lovely Victorian umbrella slide. <laughs> Very nice, another little Victorian relic up. Well, here we go, here's the next one. It's World of War II related again. World of War II bomb shrapnel from the Blitz of Clay Bank. We've moved on to one of our local fields where I found big bomb fuses before. And uh, yeah. There you go, first find is a little bit of shrapnel from World of War 2, so let's keep going, see if we can get a wee bit of silver. We lacked it on the last dig, and uh, yeah, so let's keep on going in this one. Hopefully get a wee bit of silver or something. Well, here we go, guys, here's another one just up. It's a Georgian penny, half penny. Don't think we're going to get much off that. You can see the crud on the back, that's definitely Georgian. I'd probably go for a little Georgian third half penny on that. Another nice little find. Here we go guys, here's the next thing. That's part of a little bomb fuse timer for World of War 2, it's a circular one. And uh, yeah, another little relic for World of War 2, it's good hunting for this stuff. If you can find it, there you go, probably be part of a bomb fuse from World of War 2. Well here we go, here's the next one. It's a little bale seal isn't it? Yeah, looks like a little bale seal. There we go. Try 
try and go with a circle in the middle. Nice, lovely little bell seal, used for animal feed.